Thank you. You're the ladies' room. Please don't assume my Welcome back to the channel, today we're gonna be taking a deeper look at uh, the wokes, as I call them, and in their uh, natural habitat, which is the toilets, apparently. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, because I want to get rid of the construction job that I'm stuck at. Let's enjoy the show. You know, that's like an ignorant way to stand, right? Like, what? you're over here, I tell you- I'm actually half fast. handicapped, so that's very offensive that you said that. Yeah, no, yeah. I can probably tell I'm super offended, offended, actually. Yeah. yeah. So lying and being a high conflict is part of your personality <laughs> disorder. Why are you looking at women with your <laughs> eyes? Are you a woman? <laughs> oh my god, so you- Oh, I so couldn't, you, I didn't even know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm non-binary, so it doesn't really matter. Like, that's why I asked. I was trying to be polite. They know exactly what type of uh, buttons to push. You see all these uh, wokes, all these people that are protesting. To me, it's just people that have no looks, no personalities, and they just want some social validation and some clout, and they are gonna go out and chase it. And this is the new way to do it. Just get out and protest and scream about nothing. Literally nothing. I'm gonna keep preaching. Okay, I'm gonna make sure yeah, you for don't sure. talk to me this whole time. Yeah, for sure. Have the oh, I'm gonna talk to, to people. That obnoxious PA. Yeah, for hurting sure. all these people. I'm not hurting anybody. The way that they're living their I'm lives not. is false. And then you come out here. Oh, you're spitting on me, sir. This is a good faith sir, argument. Hey, Bro, this is not a good yo, faith you're, argument. You're spitting on me. Yeah, because I'm furious. Yeah. I want to explain why I'm yelling. I'm yelling because you came to a tried for sure. Tried event I know where I'm at. Large PA system. Yeah. The only possible reason to do that is to share the gospel. Or no. Yes, no. sir. Yep, yeah, just because you have a cross on you, that doesn't mean you got peace with God, no, sir. No, no, the fact that I was ordained have, by the Presbyterian of Pittsburgh. That's fine. Please, Listen, sir, God. you don't believe in God. You don't. How you dare may, you? It's how not how dare you. you. It's how, how you live. It's how you're you. walking, sir. No, look how, how you dare walk. you? Look how you're acting. How dare you reapproach another believer not yes, knowing them? You're not you don't a believer. know nothing about me, bro. You're not a believer. You're not in relationship you're with not me. A, right, you're, you're right. You're not a family member you're not a believer. me. You're just telling me I'm not a believer. Because the Bible says, guess what? If you keep you are a friend, false prophet. You keep spit on me, sir. I do it intentionally because I get contemptuous towards you. Yeah, so they may be without excuse because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful because but became futile in their thoughts and their foolishness part in the full of stars were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Tell me you haven't gotten laid in a while without uh, telling me you haven't got laid in a while. If this is not mental illness in front of us, I don't know what it is. All these woke people, the woke LGBT whatever stuff, all these protesters, all these people with the trans rights, these are just nothings. But they feel the need to pick up a battle and go with it. And you can see here, like, this is just deranged behavior. No sane human behaves like that. And especially no Christian ever behaves like that. It's just the fact that they get some type of identities and they just stuck, stick with them. And that's it. People were asking in the comments of my last couple of videos about my anchor chart. So here you can see a couple of other anchor charts that I have about my pronouns. It says, my name is Mix Cogdill. My pronouns are Z, Zen, Zier, and Ziers. Mix C is my teacher. Z is multilingual. Students practice and speak Spanish with Zen. Zier hobby is learning languages. We don't care, honey. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it right now. We don't care. Nobody gives a shit. Stop being such a narcissistic piece of whatever and just uh, get a job read the bible yeah what i'm curious is somebody with so little education beyond high school and you know just experience in the field how are you able to so confidently um just kind of word vomit right what you said a you, pretty much every question you've answered has been no answer you've just kind of said what conservatives want to hear so really all of your work is not a debate it's just confirmation bias so what happened to me what sorry you want a debate uh, no i'm good i'm just curious where you learned you sure where you learned how to I, i'm speech. a high school graduate you're in college man let's debate i, I vomit for a living you said 
Why? Let's debate. No, I'm not here to debate. That's not, no, you're that's not my to, question. You're just here to insult me. Uh, yeah, you're a bad... Yeah, I am. Where did you learn how to public speak? Because you're really good at lying out of your uh, wh What have I lied about? Name one thing I lied tonight about. The fact that uh, he just went up there, he mustered up the courage to go up there and then just turn into a little bitch by not actually engaging with uh, Charlie Kirk tells you everything that they you need to know about these people. They're actually just cowards and bitches. And they just want to push their sick agendas or whatever onto everyone. Did you know that queer and trans people actually experience time completely differently to cishet people? It's a concept called queer temporality. Stop it. <laughs> Get some help. And it basically has to do with the fact that historically, as queer and trans people, our lives have started much later and for a whole bunch of reasons ended earlier than our cishet counterparts. So as a result, our experience of time is compressed. It also has to do with the fact that those milestones that we've been socialized to use to mark the passage of time, so things like marriage or having a children or, you know, working, retiring, inheritance, things like that, haven't been accessible to us. Okay. And that linear timeline has a name, heterochronology. <laughs> Oh my and God. as queer and trans people, our experience of time often sits outside that. I never heard this much of a word vomit in my life. She has no idea what she's talking about. And not only that, she made every single word up just because uh, they have no real purpose in life. They have no personalities, they have no skills. It's just a way for them to go viral, I'm assuming, on social media get 15 minutes of clout and then bounce most of them fortunately will grow out of it but not everyone i don't think you can be this towards men and i don't think you can be racist towards white people how have you arrived at that conclusion um that's a good question i don't know just hearing like all the stories about like all this messed up stuff they did in the past like i'm not even yeah. black but i have a grudge against them are you referring to yeah, and just like the treatment of them over time since then, like all the discrimination. Do you think that uh, white people were the only ones who engaged in slavery? So wait, are you trying to like say that like white people were slaves too? Yeah, white people were also slaves. That's where the term comes from, it's the Slavic region. Exactly. That's why Eastern Europeans are so oppressed even within Europe. I don't know, but I didn't see them oppressed over here that much. Like, in, I don't know. In history, I don't, I don't see books talking about the oppression of white people. Yeah, that's, why that's, do you think that's that a problem. Is? They have no basic understanding of actual history. You will find out that, yes, throughout history, people have been enslaving each other. That's just part of human nature, because it just is. These days, it's not as prevalent, unless you go to like Africa or Asia and some parts of Latin America, but it's still prevalent. It's still happening. It's just part of human nature. So stop singling out whatever slavery narrative uh, benefits you just see world history as it is and just move on just be successful take care of your family that's by far the best decision that you can ever racism against white people yeah girl no white racism does not exist what not even if black people are getting preferential treatment in school admissions that is just not i don't can i ask you what's your political stance are you a conservative I am a conservative, yes. Is that a problem? Yes. <laughs> Why? Goodbye. All right. Bye. She knew exactly that she was uh, talking shit. Yeah, she knew 100%. And as soon as you confront them with actual facts and actual reality, they bounce. That's how you know they are full of crap because they just are. I tend to find out. It's building a relationship with a younger person in hopes of manipulating them in the future. It's a long-term relationship that someone builds with someone younger. Well, hold on, is that, is that not the definition? Is that not the definition? Okay. I know, I know it's extreme. That's what I, that was kind of the goal with, that, with the word. No, it is right. Because I have a lot of studies to substantiate that. What do you think potentially talk about this as a cis straight male? Hold on, you can't assume my gender. Am I wrong? Yeah, you're wrong. Okay, but you're still a cis male. Or How do you know that, though? <laughs> ah! 
they are breaking their own rules constantly because those rules are meant for everyone else and not for them. To them it's nothing more than a scare tactic and a bully tactic. That's it. Because they want to silence you. And if you play that game, even if you win the argument, you still lose. Name three countries that are not in North America. Asia. Asia is a great country. Africa is a great country. Asia, Africa, and... One more, you're almost there. That's not in North America? That's not in North America. Three countries that that's are not South in North America. America. Oh, God. And that's why you need a fuck man. Don't tell me you can't submit. I don't know the difference between a country and a continent. Every single time I'm hearing all these women talking about feminism, this, men versus that, and all that stuff, and a man has to be doing this, this, and this, and this, yeah, and they have all these standards, they can't even name three countries. They are naming continents, thinking that those continents are actual countries. And when you ask them, like, what are your standards when it comes to men, they are gonna have a whole bunch of lists. And of course they will have, because people that have nothing to offer have always the highest expectations. An eight-year-old can choose their own gender if they want? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they can decide what they want to wear and, like, who they want to be. I believe an eight-year-old is a child of God, so... Consequently, choices are theirs. Yeah. Maybe they just want to fulfill their wishes if that's what's going to make them happy. Yes, an eight-year-old is mature enough to decide if they want to be male or female or cis or trans, whatever it may be. Yeah. Would you say like a five-year-old too? Um, a five-year-old? Um, I don't know. It depends. But if you change, let's say you change at eight years old and you were a boy and then you chop it, you can't really go back and change it again. Oh, that's far. I never really thought about that, but... Yeah, you haven't really thought about it because uh, your only concern is seeing the socially accepted thing at a time, right? It's just uh, absolutely disgusting. Like, wow.